today's video, guys, I'm going to quickly share with you guys my NP model on from Zoom and crash trading, guys. Right, so this is my NP model when I'm um, catching spikes on Zoom and crash. And uh, all you just need to do for yourself right now is for you to pay very close attention and be sure you watch from beginning to the end to enable you to understand everything that I'm going to share with you guys here today. All right, so what I've been said, you can see the um the trade that is running right now. And uh, this is where I picked the trade. You can see that here. And then uh, the trade, um, the pair started crashing down. You can see this here. So um, I am not still going to exit this particular you know, positions. Why? Because I'm expecting this trade to come down somewhere here before I can close my position. And I'm not saying that you should um, go out there and start doing the same thing that I'm doing because I am trading bigger um, accounts. So, always try to manage your risk in any um, strategy that I share with you guys today. So in this particular video, um, this is my entry model strategy when trading or when catching spikes on boom and crash. So the first thing that I need to um, really find out is the part that when it comes to your chart, um, the first thing that you need to do for you to take a higher time frame, let me say I go to my four hour time frame right now, um, I want to show you guys something. You can see that this particular, um, you know, trade that I opened right now, I just opened this position because I wanted to do a quick scalp in this zone here, somewhere here, all right, and I will be out. I just want to do a quick scalp in and I will be out somewhere here, like somewhere here. Sorry about that, somewhere here, all right. That is where I'm expecting to go out of this particular um, positions that I open because um, when the price or when the market gets to this particular place, um, it's possible that it will reverse from this place and take out this previous high. Do not forget that generally this pair is uh, bullish right now. So um, there is nothing you are going to do when you are counter trading any pair. Do not try to go out there and start you know, um, going against the trend, always respect the trend. So the first thing that you need to do is for you to, first of all, take which direction is this particular pair going to. If I should zoom um, you know, out completely like this, you see that this is a typical uptrend, guys. So there is nothing you are going to do here because um, for you to start trading this type of uh, uh, direction or this type of trend, and they're expecting to go opposite of this trend. It means you actually know what you're doing and you actually know where you're targeting to go out of the trade because anything can still happen right now. So this pair is trending bullish right now. So for me, catching spikes on this crash 300 index, I'm just taking risk and uh, I will not be um, staying that long in this particular um, you know, um, positions, all right? So now, after checking if this pair is trending upward and or trending downward, the next thing that you need to do is for you to go to your lower time frame. Um, let me say I go to my 15 minute time frame here. If I should look at this my 15 minute time frame, you can see that um from this my 15 minute time frame, this pair looks you know exhausting. All right, it looks like if this particular move has gotten to the overboard level that is high time that is supposed to start selling. But you are not going to do it this way because the overall trend of this particular pair is bullish. So you, um, you know, going against it by catching spikes here, you are just trying to capitalize on probably a little pullback here and you are out. Now, if you look at this here, let me um, zoom in a little bit. If you look at this here, you will see that had it been that this pair generally is trending downward, this spike that I um, you know, went for here would have gotten somewhere here right now and I would have been preparing to close this position. So these are the things that I look out for. First and first, look out for the direction of that uh, particular boom or particular crash that you are trading. If um, you know, by default crash buys and by default boom sells, so if by any chance you come to uh, probably this particular crash 300, for instance, let me just um, give the example here. Probably let's use this example to um, you know, do this thing. Okay, let's say for instance, this particular place here, you come to this chart um, this very day from this zone here, 
you come to this particular chart and uh, you realize that okay today crash one uh, crash 300 index is trending downward that is is bearish so that is the very um best day for you to catch multiple spikes you cannot catch multiple spikes the day that you take your chart and you see that crash is buying or crash is bullish that is when crash is bullish it means crash is simply maintaining default movement that it was created to be right so now this is the best day for you to catch spikes so how are you going to catch this spike this is exactly what i'm going to share with you guys now if you look at this here yeah, wait for this look at this as soon as this um movement you can see that this has been trending upward probably the previous day before this day it has been trending upward this way this way and it came to this place and it started crashing wait for this particular thing if this um movement here has a higher high higher low you would have waited for that but in this scenario if you look at this place you can see that this is where you can find this higher low here all right that is this is the break of structure here and this is the higher low so if you look at this you will see that from this place if i should mark this all right hold on a little bit let me um set my speaker very well So if I should look at this here, if you look at this particular place here, this is where probably we'll be saying, okay, this particular thing has, um, you know, breaking structure to the downside. So if this particular thing has breaking structure to the downside, where is the origin of this break of structure? If you look at this up here, you will see it here, right? It's as simple as that. You will see this here. Or you can see it like this. Look at this particular one here, right? That is where the market started crashing down. So you wait for it to go back to that place. That is where you're going to pick your entry and which is what happened here. And it's not just because the market has retraced to this particular place that you are going to open your positions. No, there are many other things to consider here, which I am not going to disclose everything to you guys here because some people paid for this particular information and i'm just giving you tips of this information for free guys so um there are other things that you need to look out for in order for you not to um you know you know get into drawdown right so now once you look at this here that is where you're supposed to open your position with the other requirements and that requirement would have been the particular um confirmation that would have um given you that edge okay open your position and then your stop loss would have been somewhere here, guys, right? Somewhere here above this, above this particular high here. And look at what happened. As soon as you open your position, everything started happening. And the, where you're going to be targeting should be this place here, right? This place. But if you know exactly that you have done your analysis on that very day and the whole pair is trending downward, I mean, when it comes to crash and it's trending downward for the whole day, you can hold this your position and watch out for what is going to happen. How are you going to know when this is going to, you know, change from bearish to bullish? That is another thing that you are going to learn if you should join my mentorship program. And I'm not persuading you to join my mentorship program because many people do not understand the, the um, you know, the, the, the brain behind you enrolling on a mentorship program. It must not be me to enroll you. You can enroll yourself somewhere else, but just try as much as possible to understand how all these things works. You cannot skip that level or that uh, line of you know, um, learning this the proper way. And you think that watching multiple videos on YouTube here will enable you to start making money. It does not work that way. So you can see, had it been open this position somewhere here and go down to this place here, you have make a lot of money. That is how it works. And now, why this keep crashing, crashing, crashing was the fact that this very day was this particular pair was trending down this very day. You cannot do the same thing when the pair is going up this way or when the pair is like this the other day. All right? You can only um do this. And how are you going to do this? Is for you to go to your four hour time frame, just as I said earlier on, and find out if the pair is trending downward or trending upward. I mean, if you are trending crash. You should be looking for a day that the crash is bearish. That is the day that you are going to catch spikes. Any day that you come to the chart and see that, okay, the overall trend of crash today is bullish. 
You are not expected to catch spikes. Even what I'm doing here is a very big risk. I told you guys before, this is a risk. So I can decide to close this trade anytime because um, the general movement of this pair is just uh, bullish. So um, if I should go to a uh, five minute time frame, look at five minute time frame here. Let me go to this place here. You can see that um, what inspired me to open this position was the fact that even though it was, uh, even though the pair is bullish, you can see that I have a break of structure here, or I had a break of structure at this zone here. You can see this here. And I waited for the price to pull back to look at this gap here. All right? Look at this gap. That is where I waited for the price to pull back to. And I waited patiently because when I marked this particular one, for you to find the right uh, uh, origin of break of structure, you just need to enroll on a mentorship program. I will teach you everything that you really need to do. And they do not come to my team, please, to ask me if it is a free program. Mentorship programs are not a free service. All right. So I charge for mentorship program, and that charges make you to sit up and learn everything clearly and properly. All right. So that is exactly how it works. So this thing that you are seeing here, as soon as it cross this particular one, that is to show you that. I actually know what I'm looking out for. If it failed to crash on this, that is when I waited for this fair value gap. And then before this, if this market decides to change, you know, um, you know, trend, probably when it gets to this particular place here, it's a changing trend. Like it, it starts crashing heavily. But for now, I might decide to close this position. I might decide to hold. You can see my stop loss here because when you are catching spikes, Boom and crash do respect stop loss. But when you are trading it by traditional, that is trading it the, the, the normal ways that we all know how to, uh, it works, it does not respect stop loss. Don't go there and blow your account. So that's exactly what I wanted to share with you guys. That is exactly my entry model. If you do not understand any part of this video that I, or any uh, part of this particular um, you know, information that I share with you guys here, all you just need to do is for you to ask me questions in the comment section. And if you want me to mentor you, I am going to leave my WhatsApp number. I mean, specifically for who wants to be a specialist on trading boom and crash, that is catching spikes on boom and crash or, you know, um, trading it in a normal way. If you want to be a specialist on that, I will coach you and show you how you are going to do this and make a lot of money from the market, right? But that comes with a price. It is not a free program. So that is exactly how it is. And then I'm going to leave my WhatsApp number in the description box of this particular video that I watch right now for you to reach out to me if you want me to mentor you to be a specialist on boom and Christ. And also, I'm going to leave the link to my books in the description box of this particular video that you're watching right now. Do where to grab a copy of those books and go through it. I believe it will help you understand how most of these spells works effectively. So that is exactly how it is. And then if this is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, and what I do here is whenever I come across any working strategy, I record a video around it and share with you guys, my audience, my subscribers, and my viewers so that you do will replicate it and uh, start making money from this particular market. So today I've shared with you guys my entry model on, you know, um, catching spikes and uh, or trading boom and crash the normal way that you guys know. So today, with what I've shared with you guys here, you should be able to go out there and practice what I just shared with you guys and uh, try as much as possible to um, you know, stick to what I showed you guys and don't try to be smart over it. So that is exactly how it is. Signing out. Holy test. Peace.